Um, you know, I guess just after a long camp and you being a first year coach here, just how excited are you to finally get out there for the first game? Oh man, it's gonna be so great to be out there. Uh, and I'm just excited, looking forward to these guys having a chance to play and, mm -hmm. and go. Uh, you know, it's been a long camp. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, a month of camp and, and no games. It's 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 hard on the guys, but at least they have a chance to go outside now and go run around, and make some tackles. Mm -hmm. so. I know Iowa's kind of reputation is a run first team, and it seems like definitely last year that's kind of what they like to do. Just what are you expecting out of their offense, or what have you seen on tape? You know, the same. Like you mm -hmm. said, they're a run first team. You know. Uh, you know, they, they, their offensive line's back, and they're very big and physical, and, and it'll be a good test to our guys up front. Um, I know their running back is a very – they got a couple of really solid yeah. running backs. I mean, they got the one they had last year, you know, he's, he's a good player, and then they had the transfer come in. So, you know, we're looking for those two guys that, you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. they're going to – the easiest thing to do in football is turn around and give it to one of those guys. Right. So when you have you know five guys up front that are returning and you got a couple good backs, I mean you definitely go that way. You know, and then their quarterback, he's he's a he's young, but you know you see him on tape and he's uh, he's a big guy that can make some plays and he has a really strong arm. Mm -hmm. So I mean I'm sure there'll be some play action shots in there too. I mean mm -hmm. that's that's kind of the mo of those guys. Uh, with, with Butler, the transfer from Nevada, I know you weren't here last year, but you know when you guys realized you'd be going up against him again, did you know any co other defensive coaches here tell you kind of what to expect from him, or I guess what? Yeah, you what know, do you I know mean, about? even even when you go through, you make a hit tape of these guys. You yeah. know, they had a transfer from New Mexico too. Right. I mean, that, that's one of those things that you just go through and you say, okay, here's the guys, here's the tapes, here's what they look like. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and at least give the the guys the ability to see them on tape, to say, okay, this is what we're gonna face. I know it's in different uniforms where the cases, but just to get their idea mm -hmm. of saying, okay, this is how they, they each guy runs, this is how uh, this is how they move, those kind of mm -hmm. things. I know they lost a lot at receiver, and it seems like both of those backs are guys who can get involved in the passing game. Is that you know something you guys are going to have to watch out for? Is, are they kind of dangerous in that regard as well? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they used that a little bit last year, too. They mm -hmm. put a tailback outside and, and motion him and do some of those right. things. So, and, you know, they, there's a little bit of talk in their media about that same thing. So, you know, you have to have a plan for it, and we'll see how much we get when we mm -hmm. get there. When you're preparing for a team that, you know, doesn't announce their starting quarterback till today, is that tough? Do you have to keep an eye on both? I know it seemed like most people, you know, went the way they thought it would, I guess, with who they named. But does that split your time at all when you're having to keep an no, eye on two guys? I mean, I mean, you kind of assumed it. You know, even if you watch the spring game or you watch some of the stuff mm -hmm. as they go, I mean, it, Maybe it was unofficial, but you know, right, right. right now it's official or whatever the case is. But you know, really with those those guys, I mean, they're, they're a little bit similar. You know what I mean? So you'd say okay, and and you know some things about you know starting. He, I mean, he got a cannon, you know, and he's going to throw the ball deep. And, right. I, and I don't know it's going to change their scheme much. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's not like one guy's a running quarterback and the other guy's a pocket passer. Mm -hmm. They're very, both so very similar. So I'm sure the scheme doesn't change much mm -hmm. with either one of them. You mentioned their O-line's a very veteran group. You know, what, what do they do best when you watch them on tape? You know, they're, they're just physical mm -hmm. up front, man. They're so strong. They work well together. You know, if you try to move versus them, they can, they, they communicate so well. They gobble up movement. Um, you know, if they get one-on-ones, you know, they're, they're, they're big physical guys that can, that they can get movement mm -hmm. up front. You know, so whether you're trying to play base defense, you know, and they know where you're at, then they can get movement. If you're trying to move, they can kind of gobble it up. They yeah. just they work really well together as one unit, you know, and, and it's pretty impressive to watch. Mm -hmm. I know, I, if I'm not wrong, I think they have given up a decent number of sacks the last couple of years. Is yeah. that important for guys to know on defense, you know, that they're not, you know, just like an invincible brick wall right in front oh, of you? Oh, yeah, I, you know, I think that, I think that the more our guys watch them, mm -hmm. you know, the more they watch, the more they look at it, and the more they say, hey, listen, they're just, I mean, really, the thing, they gotta be excited for the challenge, you mm -hmm. know, to get, to get the guys up front and say, listen, it's, it's great. It's a great opportunity. I mean, mm -hmm. how do you get better? You go against really good players, and that's what we're going to give a chance to do. So, so we'll see it is. And, and they've been going against, you know, not a, not a bad offensive right. line all camp either. I mean, <laughs> these guys are pretty much all returners back, and, and mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty physical too. So we'll see how we match up. Is this going to, you know, it seems like everybody's pretty eager to see what your D-line can do. Is this fun to have this sort of test to start the season? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, mm -hmm. You know, you go back and forth. Hey, who do you want to play first? I mean, you always want a home game as you start a season. But I mean, it, it, it'll be it'll be a good, exciting thing for us. I mean, I think the uh, you know what helps us too defensively is it's very similar to who we are. So mm -hmm. you know, we've been practicing a lot against this stuff all fall camp, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we're very similar in that regard. So for our guys, it's an easy transition into the other teams. You mm -hmm. know, if you'd go against a all spread, you know, and you, you got Oregon coming in the first right. game, but that now that's a different style. You know, yeah. so that would have been a harder transition for us mm -hmm. maybe, but. You know, for us, it'd be okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, this has been a team with Wyoming that's kind of struggled on the road the last few years. And your experience as a coach, just in different places, have there things you picked on to kind of, or picked up on to kind of alleviate, you know, being a different team on the road than you are at home? You know, I, I think that 
I think that some of like what we do around here is good. I mean, we might be on the North 40 one day, we practice in the stadium, we go indoor, we go out, you know, mm -hmm. just to change the routine up on the guys and not have them be the same every single day. Because if they get, you know, having, let me say that, having a routine is good. Yeah. You know, having the routine never change and not go to a different area, that's bad. Mm -hmm. You know, so as long as the guys understand that, hey, here's my routine, it doesn't matter where I'm at as long as I can hey, this is how I stretch, this is how mm -hmm. I prepare for a game, this is how I sleep, all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that's really what you're looking for. And did you overlap with Coach, is it Coach Paulus, Paulus Yes. That, uh, in DSU? Yes. Is that fun to get to go up against him? Yeah, uh, it'll be a good time. You know, I mean, he's a good guy and he's a good football coach and, and, and it'll be fun.